Hello everyone, here is Matthias and Matthias. And today's topic is when the cleaner recommends stocks. So yeah, what I mean by that, Matthias, can you imagine? Yeah, that, you, that it's maybe a warning sign if uh, the masses starting to talk about about buying stocks or buying yeah buying assets in in any way, uh, which which is yeah um, pretty I'd say yeah it's pretty high warning sign for me. Yeah, for me the same. So if if the mass or the majority of the population um, knows about shares and stocks and you should buy it, it is worth to buy it, and and you can make a lot of money with it. Uh, this is the first sign to yeah to make thoughts about maybe I should hedge or protect my uh, stocks portfolio, and yeah, I, for example, you can set your stop losses a bit um, closer to your current position, and yeah, the yellow press. If the yellow press says you should buy stocks, so this is another one signal. Um, yeah. This is almost the same like the cleaner recommends you to buy some stocks and yeah this is a, a thing we don't see right now so we are far away from this so everything looks looks good now or yeah. do you or, or is your cleaner recommend you some stocks <laughs> no not at the moment but um, you should really take care that you don't um, live in your filter bubble caused by Facebook because Facebook, of course, only shows you things you're interested in. And of course, maybe there are all people talking about stuff. Mm -hmm. So you should really go out and listen to, to the majority what they are talking about. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, it doesn't feel like there is the majority talking about no. buying stocks. Absolutely not. Um, yeah, so we are, have a lot of space to the upside. Uh, of course, tomorrow we can see the crash or the start of the crash. Uh, but I'm not sure, so it doesn't look like. And another topic, uh, all body, you know, almost everybody talks about is cryptocurrencies, or especially uh, bitcoins. But in bitcoins, there's, I think, this is another thing uh, because the the space to the upside and the I think not all of the people knows about bitcoins right now. So we are far, far away from everybody knows about it. And for me, there's maybe potential that institutions will invest into bit, into bitcoins, and there's huge potential. But in the end, I mean, is anybody wondering when Bitcoin falls like fifty percent? It's pretty normal. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, it is pretty normal. So we had this case a few weeks ago. We fall from five uh, four thousand five hundred or. or yeah, something like that down to 3,000. We had this yesterday in the webinar, in the Q&A webinar. So this was a drop by 33%. So, but this is pretty much normal. And yeah, you have to handle it. That's true, yeah. And uh, when we say, um, uh, when your cleaner recommends the stocks, of course, it's a synonym for the fear and greed index. Yeah, I can show this. And I was pretty surprised because the last time I had a look at the Fear and Greed Index was when it was, I think, over 90. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a few weeks ago we were at 96. And um, all indices are rising at the moment, making new all-time highs, but mm -hmm. Fear and Greed Index is falling. So yeah, it's, it's falling and good. currently... We are in a neutral position, so with a yeah, number of 40, uh, 54. And and I scroll a little bit down here, so you can see the development over the last two years. So this was a spot we were at 96, and currently we are in the neutral position, so around 50. Yeah, and this surprised me as well. Um, I was expected to see a number around 80 or more than 80. Yeah, so maybe there is potential. Yeah. <laughs> until, so, until everybody starts to buy stocks and the smart money goes into the dump. Yeah. Dump hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, but currently it doesn't look like. So, one signal not ex, yeah, not there right now. Yeah. So, to sum it up, basically you should listen or you should have 
uh, a tweener at home <laughs> to listen at, and when he or she starts talking about stocks, you maybe sh they should take care and go yeah. more into cash or think about what you can do <laughs> yeah. when the market comes a little bit back. Maybe I mean, we're not talking about crashes, we're talking about the correction. Maybe. Yeah, the correction, of course, yeah. And maybe it's a good idea to subscribe to some stupid yellow press magazines and yeah. if they recommend to buy stocks, be careful then. So this is our recommendation. Okay, so that's it. That was Matthias N. Matthias. Okay, see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.